Well, I think we have to separate the issues of Julian Assange and the issues of, of uh, WikiLeaks, uh, the person who is in uh, the Ecuadorian embassy at the UK is Julian Assange. He has a status of being a person uh, with uh, international protection and we are continue, we have a continuous dialogue with him, with his lawyers and also with the government of the United Kingdom. So uh, it's a tripartite uh, uh, dialogue and I think all parties are interested uh, in finding an outlet, a solution to this very uh, complex uh, um, situation. Well, because for several occasions he has agreed on not intervening in uh, uh, internal politics of third party countries and unfortunately he has, he has not complied with his commitment. Uh, so for the time being uh, he's not allowed to have access to internet. It's not a matter of censorship, it's a matter of rights and responsibilities of a person who, is, uh, he, who has the status that he has. He is an international protected person and he has, of course, right but also responsibilities. I think that this is an issue of international law. Uh, this is an issue of uh, respecting uh, the international framework, respecting our own constitution and legislation. Uh, it is uh, a complex matter and, and I think that we are uh, have uh, uh, dialogue mechanisms uh, that are in search of uh, a solution that would uh, be uh, that would accommodate all interested parties. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that the, uh, what is uh, positive about this complex situation in that is that we have a very uh, a sustained and, and constructive dialogue among all parties and that we are all in the search of an outlet, of a solution to uh, a situation that is difficult for all, all parties. And uh, we are in the search of, of uh, really finding uh, an alternative that would accommodate all interested parties.